Hi, my name is Sean Webb, and uh, this is Group 5's Pepsi Free Delay presentation with uh, Shuang Ji, uh, Bo Gao, Chen Shen, and Brian Wasson. The situation for this project is that Free Delay has been utilizing their remote bin network for over 60 years and are seeking possible new methods to improve their distribution process. A couple complications that we've seen analyzing the information that uh, we have received is, is that they have they have different loading docks at, at separate locations so some trucks fit some trucks well and a lot of the product has to be hand trucked off uh, another one is is that free delay does not have any personnel manning these remote bin facilities to help these truck drivers uh, unload the product that is um, stacked from floor to ceiling high uh, Free to Lay has um, very limited, if any, resources to uh, help improve their remote bin networks. And um, the two heavy packages regarding the um, loading dock levels also affects the efficiency of moving the product from the truck into the remote bin locations. Uh, we found that there are four causing the complication, and based on the analysis of the complication, we can find the key questions about the free uh, It is is there a trip process or uh, is there a more efficient process for the free to improve his procedures? Uh, there are three details in the in this question. First is the uh, can we unify the size of the bin? And the second is uh, can we use uh, can we use uh, add some more persons that of the drivers and uh, the step by the third one is uh, uh, can we, how do we how do we use the auto forklift uh, to you know to uh, to instead of the okay, based on the questions that uh, we can figure out uh, the research approach first uh, obviously is uh, unified uh, the deck size of the bin and the second is uh, uh, that the company can hire some more part-time employees the drivers and the third is uh, the, uh, they, they can use the auto forklift uh, to uh, instead of the menu. Hi everyone, I'm Bob. Uh, depends on our key research approach, here is our approach overview. And the first step is review the current warehouse and delivery system. Uh, to uh, review current whole warehouse process and the delivery system, which include the uh, human resources, uh, equipment resources, and the capabilities, to see if there uh, any changes can be made to uh, solve the problems. And based on the complication we find, the uh, we all know uh, the freight freight only has different sizes with their deck, which decrease their efficiency when the worker are working. So uh, we can consider design their warehouse deck and change their equipment, which we can just standardize the all warehouse bins and change the long consuming uh, equipment into the auto for lift. Hi everyone. Uh, after we uh, the ball stays, we still have the another the, the approach or overview the as for the <coughs> redistribution the cost. We find the uh, free to lay uh, they have they use the uh, uh, driver to loading and unloading. Um, even they say so they pay their hire, but uh, so we think that the driver is exhausted after the long time to drive. So uh, uh, our group, we're thinking about that is uh, <coughs> cut the, the, the pay the driver the same, <laughs> pay the driver the same with other company or competitor, and we use the rest of the uh, money to uh, hire another people to watch the uh, warehouse or beans and use this uh, use these things and the 
keep the drive is uh, safe and maybe they be more happy after the long drive and even that one is uh, uh, reduce the accident if uh, accident happen that is uh, company need, need to pay more things need to resolve a lot of problem and that cost will be increased and <coughs> finally after we got these three problems uh, where well the have the solution <laughs> solution and uh, we need to design the uh, process uh, planning process and the, the operation the model but these things we need thinking about if we want to resolve these questions but not just the um, deliver deliver department they need the cross function to other company uh, other department like the finance we need to set the budget or everything and even the supplier even the uh, the uh, re retailer uh, every department we need to work together and the change now is our system well, now we see uh, we do the time schedule and uh, at the beginning uh, we thinking about use uh, two weeks for review the current the pro uh, the state is current all the system and the make sure the problem and find the solution and the next step we uh, we plan the use the four weeks for the design how uh, how to wear the deck that made the to make the together the all things is the same the standard and the, then we need to change the equipment like we say before uh, use that the four weeks to design and then we use the uh, like the maybe the five weeks that is uh, the for the redistribution the labor cost because that need to come with the financial company maybe more complex so use the five weeks and then the, after this uh, all done, we use the uh, three weeks from the se week seven to the week uh, nine. We use three weeks for design the planning uh, to mix all things together. And uh, finally, we use uh, from the uh, week nine to the week 12, as uh, we uh, use the uh, four weeks to the design the operation model. We need to uh, find the good way to how to do this. Um, and uh, then that is dependent on like uh, three people uh, of a group. Um, we use totally 12 weeks. Hi, you've heard the rest of my team speak about some of the recommendations and approaches that we have. Um, understanding Frito-Lay's requirements and that they're working with a short budget or no budget possibly. Uh, this is what we're recommending uh, for starters. That's to outsource the warehousing to the local sales reps. And the reason for this is that by outsourcing it to all the sales reps, you have many different laboratories, so to speak, of innovation that can crop up as a result of outsourcing it to these reps. You know, for instance, I mean, somebody in Butte, Montana can do, can handle their region differently than somebody in Omaha, Nebraska, or somebody in Topeka, Kansas, or Wichita, Kansas, or wherever you're at. Obviously, big cities, you know, New York City or Dallas or or Denver or anywhere like that is going to have a different way of doing things as well. So to get different sales reps involved, get them working in their territory, they know it better than anybody else. They'll be able to come up with the best solution that to meet the to lays needs and as a result of this at the end of six to eight months you should be able to have a template for the best practices that should be in place as a result of that and you should be able to roll that out to the rest of the areas that that didn't get involved in this process and the great thing about our solution is that there's no overhead required for this you should have everything that you need cost wise already deployed individual sales reps so you don't have to put teams together to fly into the various territories and spend money flying up to those territories driving around spending money on gas hotels meals and such that should be already paid for with the sales reps just driving around all day long delivering to their various customers so you know
based on that, they should be able to have an understanding of their region, be able to go out, find the best places that can work within their region. Also, what you get out of this is it's almost like a training ground for the sales reps. So they can go out there and they can, you know, kind of create their own opportunities. And you can see, you know, basically what kind of skill sets that they have in managing a territory. You know, you know, sure, they can go, they can, you know, restock the shelves, they can do their regular sales work. But if you're looking to promote from within to different areas in the company, you'll be able to see their entrepreneurial skills, for instance. And trying to find out, you know, different warehouses or possibly hiring part-time work. And that's where you'll be able to see some of the other skills that your employees have that you might not have seen otherwise. So summing up, you know, this is a, you know, a no, basically cost-neutral horse. And hopefully, you know, the, the hope is that you can get, you know, some of the sales reps to, to save you some money. I mean, for instance, you know, if you get 20 sales reps, saves you, you know, 20 grand a piece, that's $400,000. You can take that $400,000 and you can apply it to, you know, one of the other groups that we have here in our class that has a, has a great idea but might cost us a little bit of money. And the great thing about this idea is that you can roll this out pretty much immediately. You know, with very little startup time, you know, no cost as, as we've mentioned. And, you know, you should be able to get going on this, you know, as soon as you'd like to.